All right, hey guys, welcome back to Lego Batman. We are currently on mission 27, I believe. This might be a flying mission. Gonna be playing as Scarecrow and the Joker. By plane blast. Alright, we need to find some way to blow that up. I'm not sure how though. Might have to switch. Nope. Probably gonna have to find some missiles. Oh, here's a mine. Just gotta break that. There we go. Switch to the Joker and get the mine. It's very similar to the Batman and Robin mission. It's almost identical. Oops. Nope. The physics are kinda crazy. There we go. Probably have to go back and get another mine. Wait, there's something here. I need to switch to the Joker. I mean, to the Scarecrow. Or whatever his name is. There we go. Yeah, essentially identical mechanics. So there's a mine here. I'm probably gonna have to use it to break through. Yep. Oh my god, I'm going like right to it. What? Oh, I have to press B. Okay, so that's... wait, did that work? I'm not sure if that worked or not. Wait, maybe I'm supposed to switch? Oh, that was easy. Oops. Fired the missile the wrong way. Need to get some more missiles. I got some more missiles. Alright, now we switch to this guy, get a bomb. Boom. And there we go, there should be a boss fight coming up soon. Probably against the police pop helicopter. Whoa! Alright, I need to find... okay. So here's the missiles. There's two blue things. Not entirely sure what they're for though. I'm trying to find where we get bombs. Or if we're even supposed to get bombs. Alright, I'm a little bit confused. Oh wait, maybe I'm just supposed to like fly over here? It 
it's something to do with these platforms. I just don't understand what. Hmm. Do I have to shoot the Batman buttons? Nope. The only thing I can really think of is destroying those boxes. Wait, maybe there's something over here that I missed. Oh, here we go. <laughs> I didn't realize there was an extra area. Alright, so there's the mine. I need to go get the mine. Oh, then we target these. Okay. Got it. There's one. Oh, I see. And then we need to confuse the turrets so that it'll shoot the helicopter. Oops. There we go. And I somehow died. I don't know how I died. I had full health. There we go. One heart down. Oh, now we can hurt it. Sweet. That should be pretty easy. Oops. And I died. <laughs> Let me change to the helicopter. I think the helicopter would be easier. Yeah. There we go. Now what? Victory. That was an easy mission. I like the vehicle missions a lot more than like the run, running and platforming missions, just because there's like more action. They're a little bit shorter. When you're running around, it's just like nothing but puzzles. Puzzle after puzzle after puzzle. Joker's masterpiece. Well, that's a lot of enemies. So, just a disclaimer here, I actually had to play this level twice because I ran into a glitch that caused me to have to restart the level. Uh, basically, I, like, messed up a sequence. What? And I'll show you exactly what I did later. But, uh, first of all, we need to go over here, we need to activate this. And then we push these blocks. And I stand here and I have Scarecrow go around and press the lever. Nope. The AI is really stupid sometimes. There we go. Let me go across. The good thing about LEGO games, though, is once you solve all the puzzles, you can, like, go through a level super fast. So it's not going to take me nearly as long as last time to complete this level. Okay, that falls down, and then I need to build a bridge. Something that's, like, super weird is the question mark, like, doors. You see that question mark thing right there? If I use it with uh, Joker, it won't work. I have to use it with Scarecrow, which is very strange. You would think I would have to use it with Joker. 
with the Joker. But anyways, that part's done. There's a lot of cops. This area is pretty simple. Just have to make a machine. We'll open a door and then we have to activate something that'll deactivate the lasers. Alright, done. More guards. I don't know why the guards would be like inside the cell. <laughs> it's kind of strange. Alright, this part takes a little while. We have to do a couple things. So Scarecrow can't get past the gas, but the Joker can. So basically I move the Joker over here, pull the lever. Wait a minute. There might be something back here. Nope. There we go. I'm not even sure what I did there, <laughs> but oh well, it worked. So now we break these paintings or whatever tiles on the wall. I don't know why there would be tiles on the wall. And then we fix this. This will allow Scarecrow to get out. Be fun to see like a speed run of this game. Uh oh. Alright, anyways. Crap. Anyways, he can get up here. <laughs> so I'm gonna go up here with Joker. Oh, I have to kill the guards first. him over and then we can stop the gas and then I'll activate the door Scarecrow just melted. <laughs> oh yeah, this area. We have to uh we have to go over here. We have to open the door, which leads to an elevator. It really sucks having to play this level over again just because there's a glitch. I've heard that in a lot of LEGO games, and like almost all LEGO games, there's always some sort of glitch or problem that will prevent you from uh, completing the stage. And since there's not like checkpoints in between levels, um, you basically have to replay the entire stage, which is just so annoying. Wait. What? Oh, there we go. So this will open the door. Pretty heavy security door for an elevator. We don't have to do anything in this area. All we have to do is build a pallet to get across. Kind of strange building a pallet. You would think they would come up with a little bit something a little bit more creative than a pallet. <laughs> but oh well. So this is the part where the game decided to crash on me. It didn't really crash, but I like locked the game.
So basically what we have to do is we have to pull this lever, and then a box comes out. Then we have to transport the box to the other side. And then we have to go to the other side and get this crane. And we have to pick up the box and put it on the button. Uh, what I did to freeze the game, or it didn't really freeze the game, but it just kind of destroyed uh, my progress, is that I went to the crane a little bit too early. If you go to the crane too early, and you pick up the box while it's still in the conveyor belt, it'll blow up. And the game won't recognize that the box is blown up, and you can't get another one. So, it's really unfortunate if the box blows up. So basically what happened was the second, like I, I got the first box done and the second box I was trying to go a little bit faster and I ended up blowing up the box while it was on the uh, conveyor belt and I wasn't able to get a third box, which really, really sucked, but oh well. Hopefully it doesn't happen again. <laughs> I'm just gonna wait for it before I get on the crane, just to be safe. Oh, it broke! What? There's something else we have to do? Oh, shoot. Oh, then I replayed the entire level for no reason. Oh, there's something we have to build here. Damn it. I thought I, like, froze the game because you're not able to get another box, but you just build a box there. I am such an idiot. Wow. Oh well, it didn't really take that long to uh, replay the level. Oh, I have to ri ri rise it up, raise it up. Oh, talking for so long in Let's Plays, you mix up your words sometimes. Especially when you're not really like paying attention. Here we go. Done. I can't believe I thought the level was like broken, but it wasn't, and it just ah. Uh. Then we have to get Scarecrow to the window, and then that'll open the door. Cannot believe that. All right, door will open. Okay, well that's the end of that mission. <sighs> Wish I didn't have to play it twice, but oh well. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.